All right, today's lesson, we are going to be starting our unit on integers. And today we are going to actually kind of be breaking down this lesson into three different sections while we talk about positive and negative numbers. So let's start with the title, the heading on our notes. And of course, you're going to include today's date as well. All right, let's start by defining what exactly is an integer. Integers are all positive and negative counting numbers. including zero. All right, integers must also be whole numbers. They can't be fractions and they can't be decimals. Okay, so let's start with a couple example problems here. First, we're going to just learn how to determine what an integer is. All right, so if I had examples, negative five, would that be an integer? Is it a, a positive or a negative number? Yes, it's a negative number. And is it a whole number? Yes, so this would definitely qualify as an integer. What if I gave you the number three and one half? Would that be an integer? No, this is not an integer because it has that fraction on the end of it. That makes this not an integer. And let's say, what about two and 2,500, negative two and 2,500? Is this an integer? No, because it has numbers after that decimal point there. If I gave you zero, is that an integer? Absolutely, it's a, count, it's a counting number, so it's even included in our definition up there. So yes, that is an integer. All right, so that was the second, I'm sorry, that was the first part of our notes today. The second part, we are just going to place these integers on a number line. Okay, so this, I'm just gonna put a number one as the first part. And number two, second part of our notes today. Let's say I have the numbers negative two, one, three, negative four. And I need to put these numbers on a number line, so We'll go ahead and draw a number line. And always in that middle, you're gonna put that number zero. All right, since my biggest number I see here is, is four, I'm going to count up to four. One, two, three, four. Same on the other side. One, two, three. This is going to be negative four. All right, so everything to this side of zero is positive and everything to the other side of the zero is negative all right so i'm just going to count each tick mark which is a little line in the, in the graph there and place the point on that number line so negative two let's start there so i'm going to go to zero and i'm going to count backwards negative one negative two so I'm going to put the point there, cross that one off. One, positive one. So I'm going, if you don't see a plus sign, it's implied that it is a positive number. So I'm going to count forward. One, put the dot there, put the point there. Next one, three, and that is positive three because I don't see a negative sign. So I'm going to start at zero. One, two, three. 
cross that out, I'm done. And negative 4. Start at 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Negative 4. And done. And that's how we plot these points on a number line. All right, I'm going to give you one more example for you to try on your own, and then you can turn this back on to check your answers. So let's try putting these numbers on the number line. So draw your number line. Zero in the middle. Okay, please pause this. Plot these points on the number line and turn this back on when you're ready to check your work. Okay, let's see if you're correct. My biggest number is five right here, so I'm going to count at least a five. One, two, three, four, positive five. One, two, three, four, negative five. All right, I'm gonna start with this first one here, this first integer. Negative five, zero, negative two, one, two, two, one, two, and three, one, two, three. Very good. Nice job. If you're not sure why you missed an answer, if you're still confused on how to put these on the number line, make sure you stop this right now and ask your teacher for some help. If not, we're going to continue on to the next part. <clears throat> All right, we are going to compare integers now. So we're going to tell which integer is bigger or smaller. Bigger and smaller, I should say, sorry. <clears throat> All right. So the third part of our notes, third and final part. I'm going to give you the numbers 6 and negative 6. Which is bigger? Well, if you're not sure, let's put it on the number line. I'm going to make this a little smaller. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Six, one, two, three, four, five, negative six. <clears throat> Anytime you have a positive and a negative number being compared, which one is always going to be greater? The positive, right? You never want to have negative amount of money. You always want a positive amount of money. So that's always going to be the greater number. So I can automatically just tell by these signs that positive six is bigger. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. Now let's try negative three and two. Once again, I have two different signs here. I have a negative number and a positive number. So automatically, I know right away that that positive number is going to be greater than that negative number. So negative three is less than positive two. And the next one, let's do um, negative 3 and 0. Hmm, there's no sign with 0. So what do I do? I see a negative sign. Well, I know 0 is right here in this middle. And if I count back, 1, 2, 3. Negative three is less than zero. And if you think about it in money, that always helps kind of understand negative and positives a little bit better. So would you rather have no money? Or would you rather have no money and owe somebody $3? Right? You'd rather just have no money and not have to be owing anybody anything. All right, next example here. Let's go negative four and negative six. Now this one is a little tricky. So if I look at this number line right here, and erase this negative three, I'm gonna put negative four. So one, two, three, four. So that is negative four. 
and with negative numbers, it kind of works opposite of positive numbers. So the bigger the negative number, the farther away from zero it is. Okay, so I want the closest number to zero is going to be bigger when both numbers are negative. And both of these numbers are negative, so I have negative four, negative six. Which one of these is closer to zero? That's right, negative four. So negative four is going to be the bigger number. Nice job. All right, I'm gonna give you some examples to try on your own. Negative four and four. Which is greater? That's right, two different signs, one's negative, one's positive. The positive number is always greater. So negative four is less than positive four. All right, let's try another one. Okay, both of these numbers are positive numbers. So the, since they're positive, which one is farther away from zero? Okay, so two is less than four. Let's try one more example. Negative seven and negative nine. They're both negative, so now we need to think which one, if I did it on a number line, which one would be farther away from zero? That's right. Negative nine would be farther away. So negative seven is greater than negative nine. Once you've completed these notes, please let your teacher know that you need the homework.